Assalamu alaikum and a very good day to everyone. This is BAT257 Geotechnics. Uh, in this session, we are going to discuss about um, another topic in this course, uh, which is slope stability. All right. So, kita akan discuss mengenai slope stability. Okay. Um, let's start with um, discussing the five uh, major categories of slope failure. Okay. Slope failure ataupun uh, kegagalan cerun. Okay. Kegagalan cerun, um, kalau kita baca, ada lima major uh, category. Okay. So, yang pertama is fall. Okay. Uh, fall. Alright. Dalam fall ni, uh, kalau kita tengok batuan dekat cerun ni, alright, is falling down basically. Macam nama dia lah, fall. Okay. So, batuan ini akan uh, jatuh ke bawah. So, kegagalan cerun ni ataupun uh, this slope failure, kita namakan sebagai fall. Alright. And um, the second one is topple. Topple. Topple ni, um, kalau saya tengok dalam gambar, dia macam ni. Alright. If, even if you Google, you'll find something like this. Uh, this is topple. Okay, dia macam uh, jatuh lah. Jatuh ke bawah. Alright. And then the third one is slight. Okay. Slight. Okay. So yang um, saya lukis dekat sini is uh, the slope. Okay. And then this is um, the failure plane. So bila sliding berlaku, basically um, tanah slope ni akan feel something like that, right? Okay, so ni yang the one in black is the original slope. Tapi bila bila slope berlaku, kegagalan cerun berlaku. So um, tanah ni akan feel lah macam ni. So this is slight. And the fourth one is uh, spread. The spreading. Okay, uh, the spreading macam ni. And then the fifth one is flow. Okay, macam air mengalir tu. You can Google. Alright, so five um, major categories of slope failure. I repeat. So we have fall. We have topple. We have slide. We have um, spread and also flow. So dalam lecture ni, dalam uh, lecture session ini, we will focus on um, slide. So let me highlight this. Okay, so kita akan fokus kepada slide. Kegagalan cerun melalui sliding. Alright, so now let's discuss about uh, failure modes pula. Mode of failure. Okay, so tadi kita cakap uh, dalam lecture ini, kita akan fokus kepada kegagalan cerun melalui slide or sliding. Alright, let's move on to the failure modes. We have three failure modes as you can see. Uh, we have slope failure, okay, and then we have uh, shallow slope failure, and we also have base uh, failure. Okay, for slope failure, okay, sekiranya uh, failure circle, okay, I'm going to draw this for you. Sekiranya failure circle, okay, intersects. Ataupun uh, bertemu, okay, this is failure circle. Uh, we assume that the failure circle is um, apa, melengkung macam ni. Okay, sebab ada sesetengah uh, approach, dia assume yang failure circle to straight. Okay, straight. Tapi in this um, case, we will assume that it is a circle. Failure tu berlaku dalam... Um, Bentuk circle macam ni. Dia punya failure plane. Okay. So, sekiranya failure plane ini uh, intersects ataupun bertemu di toe of the slope. Okay, ni slope awak. Okay, this is our slope. This is the toe. Okay. So, sekiranya failure plane ini 
uh, bertemu di uh, di toe ataupun okay the second one above the toe dia atas sikit daripada toe tu okay somewhere there sorry my my drawing okay okay so in both cases we call this a uh, slope failure dan untuk circle ni okay untuk uh, the the circle sekiranya circle ini intersects the toe we call this as sorry can you see we call this as toe circle okay dan uh, untuk yang ini pula sekiranya um, circle ni failure circle ni intersects above the toe atas sikit daripada toe ni so we call this as slope circle all right so these two they are um, categorized as slope failure dan untuk yang kedua uh, in, in certain conditions berlaku juga shallow slope failure okay shallow slope failure di mana okay again this is our uh, slope and this this is the toe Okay, shallow slope failure ni dia intersect too high. Okay, terlalu jauh daripada toe ni. Alright, so this is uh, shallow, sh sorry, shallow slope failure. Alright, so that's the third one. And the base failure, okay, and the base failure, sekiranya failure circle ni intersects at a distance below the toe. Okay, so ni above the toe, di atas toe. Yang belah sini kita consider as below the toe. Okay, so sekiranya this failure circle intersect at a distance uh, below the toe. So we call this as base failure. Dan circle ni, kita namakan dia sebagai uh, midpoint. Okay, kita namakan sebagai uh, midpoint circle. Okay, all right, and let's move on to the next uh, part, which is the stability and lysis procedure. Okay, so tadi kita cakap daripada awal, kita cakap uh, kita ada different, uh, five different or major categories of uh, slope kan. So kita ada topple, kita ada fall and slide and everything. And then uh, we will focus on uh, sliding kan. All right, so... Uh, moving on to the next part ok, untuk untuk kita check kita punya slope stability kita ok, kestabilan cerun kita tu so we have uh, two procedures or two methods, ok so the first one is uh, mass procedure mass procedure, ok uh, this is your um, slope and this is your uh, failure circle so basically this is um uh, toe circle, okay, need toe circle, and then this is base failure, okay, I'm sorry, this is uh, slope failure, as we discussed earlier, I'm sorry, this is slope failure, and this is toe circle, alright, untuk mass procedure, untuk kita, apa tu, uh, kira, uh, ataupun check the stability of this slope, okay, so untuk mass procedure, so, the whole uh, soil mass above the circle, okay, above the failure uh, circle. So, keseluruhan unit tanah ni yang saya highlightkan in orange ni, kita taken as one unit. So, sebagai satu unit. Okay, kita ambil dia sebagai satu unit and then kita proceed dengan calculation. Okay, okay. calculation untuk check the factor, the factor of safety uh, of the slope. Okay, itu untuk mass procedure. The whole thing, kita consider sebagai satu unit. Okay, and then this is uh, sesuai sekiranya tanah kita ni homogenous ataupun tanah kita ni, tanah cerun kita ni adalah tanah yang sama. Tapi in um, actual situation or actual conditions, tanah kita ni berbeza-beza kan. Layers, we have different layers of soils. Okay. So because of that, uh, someone invented, sorry, someone invented method of slices. Okay, method of slices.
method of slices ni <coughs> berbeza dengan uh, mass procedure tadi. So method of uh, slices as the name suggested slices uh, mass tanah ni soil mass above this failure circle ni. Okay, ni kita punya failure circle. Sorry, this is our failure circle. Okay, yang mass of soil above the failure circle yang saya highlight dengan pink ni, we will divide into or we will slice it. Okay, we will slice into uh, number of slices. Okay, lagi banyak kita slice, maksudnya lagi uh, banyak slice yang kita ada, lagi accurate. Uh, pengiraan factor of safety kita alright so uh, this is a more versatile technique ataupun versatile approach di mana uh, kita boleh kira untuk tanah yang uh, bukan homogenous ok tanah-tanah yang berbeza-beza karakter dia ciri-ciri dia so this is um, a more versatile approach untuk kira factor of safety of the slope ok so inilah Okay, yang kita akan fokus dalam um, uh, lecture session, this lecture session. Alright, so we're going to do method of slices. So let's move on to uh, the example. So I hope, uh, hopefully, inshallah, you will understand better. Alright. Okay, guys. Um, so this is uh, the example that we are going to do together. Okay, so uh, it says here, okay, a cut has been made at an angle of 30 degree. So uh, I will highlight all the important um, values uh, given, okay. A cut has been made at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal, okay. Satu... Um, Uh, pemotongan cerun lah telah dijalankan dan uh, angle dia from the horizontal okay is 30 degree okay and also given a uh, radius is 10 meter passing through the toe of the cut slope passing through the toe of the cut slope and through a point 4 meter away on the top ground from the edge of the cut, okay? Uh, also given, uh, C is 15 kilonewton per meter square, friction angle is 30 degree, uh, the unit weight of the soil is 18 kilonewton per meter cubed, and depth of cut is 5 meter, okay? Kedalaman uh, pemotongan tu, kedalaman uh, kita pencerun is uh, 5 meter. And then the question here is, using the ordinary method of slices, okay, menggunakan method of slices, find the factor of safety with respect to sliding for the given trial case. Trial case ni maksudnya yang, apa, yang case yang dia bagi ke atas ni lah. Alright, so how to do this? So the first thing, what I will do is, I will uh, basically draw um whatever given here in a not in a not to scale form okay saya akan lukis dulu uh, apa yang diberi di sini dalam bentuk not to scale okay so it's going to be something like this okay guys so basically it is uh, when you draw it okay when you draw uh the figure uh of course lah ini bukan to scale in, this is not to scale. Okay, this is just um, freehand drawing. Okay, freehand equals to not to scale. Alright. So, kita akan dapat macam ni. Okay. So, dia cakap kat sini tadi. A cut has been made at an angle of 30 degree to the horizontal. Okay. So, this is, uh, let, let, let us assume, so this line is horizontal. 30 degree to the horizontal. Maksudnya cerun kita adalah 30 degree, 30 darjah daripada uh, garisan um, horizontal ni. So this is our slope tu kan? Okay. Okay. Yang ni dah take. Kita dah lukis yang ni. 
okay and then the checkup you got here radius is 10 meter passing through the toe of the cut slope okay so this is the toe of the cut slope radius there uh, passing through maksudnya dia intersect cut slope ni so we know that radius here is 10 meter and also the kata uh, passing through uh, a point 4 meter away on the top ground from the edge of the cut okay okay so ni the edge of the cut uh, kita namakan sebagai point B um, 4 meter daripada B ni saya namakan point ni C so apa kita punya radius ni juga intersect dekat sini okay so this is 10 meter yang ni 10 meter yang dia apa intersect dekat tu okay so this is point uh, point O okay and then we also uh, know that uh, apa kita punya kedalaman uh, slope kita adalah 5 meter given okay this is given 5 meter all right so when we draw everything so we will get something like this okay tapi ini bukan to scale okay sebab sekarang kita nak kira uh, accurate kita nak kira dengan accurate uh, menggunakan method of slices so if kita nak kira dengan accurate so basically we have to so we have to convert drawing ni we have to convert kepada bentuk yang uh, berskala okay berskala tepat dan of course obviously kita akan gunakan graph paper okay so uh, let's do the conversion so okay guys then you can put your uh, beautiful graph paper on your table okay and then uh, we will start with the conversion ingat tak tadi saya cakap kita akan convert yang uh, freestyle tu yang ini yang ini not to scale kita akan convert kepada bentuk yang uh, tepat menggunakan kertas graph alright uh, okay so first and foremost you have to uh, use the scale okay scale basically uh, we have to do notes here a little bit scale macam mana yang awak nak guna so in here I think I'm gonna use um, can you see alright sorry so in here, I think I'm going to use uh, skill ni. Okay. So this is a note to yourself. Okay. A note to yourself. So I'm going to use uh, one centimeter. Okay. I'm going to use. So my scale is um, one centimeter equals to one meter. So that is my scale. All right. So the next thing that we'll do is... Um, what I will do is, I will mark the first uh, spot, which is point A. Okay guys, so this is, uh, I'm going to pick this point as my point A. And then I'm going to, uh, so I can buat uh, satu line dekat sini. Di mana line tu adalah uh, 30 darjah daripada horizontal. Okay. So basically, sorry. So basically, guna apa protector macam biasa. Okay, and mark uh, 30 degree from the horizontal. So somewhere there. Okay. So 30 degree dari horizontal. This is uh, basic mathematics. Okay guys, so... Um, okay, uh, I'll repeat myself. So kita buat tadi uh, satu line horizontal. Okay, from uh, line horizontal ni, kita punya, our slope is uh, at 30 degree. Okay, at 30 degree. The 30 darjah daripada horizontal. So, then we got this line. Okay. Okay, I name it as uh, B here. Okay, because we know that um, also given the distance ataupun height. Okay, jarak daripada bawah ni ke apa ground surface yang dekat atas ni adalah 5 5 meter okay basically uh, it is 5 cm but we use scale 1 cm equals to 1 meter so saya kira dekat sini jadi uh, apa tu 5 cm or 5 meter so 1 2 3 4 5 so dekat titik B ni dia uh, intersect dengan uh, ataupun dia bertemu dengan garis ni so basically this is our height 5 five meter okay and then also given diberi juga dalam soalan distance between b and c is 4 meter 
So again, so you have to measure this B to C uh, sebanyak 4, 4 meter ataupun di atas kertas graph it is 4 cm. And now, uh, we also know that a radius, okay, radius ataupun jejari daripada point A ke point uh, 0 kat sini ni. Okay, kita punya deflection point orang panggil, if I'm not mistaken, deflection point ni adalah 10 meter. Okay, so uh, kita ukur lah. Kita ukur um, sebanyak 10 meter. Okay, and then kita kita lukis lah. Kita intersect daripada point A ni. Kita intersect ke sini. Okay, dan daripada point C pun. Nanti kita akan intersect dekat sini juga. So, okay guys. Uh, if you do it correctly, macam saya cakap tadi. Kita ambil kita punya ni, jangka lukis kita ni. So, ukur um, 10 cm. Dia punya panjang ni. Uh, 10, 10 cm bersama dengan 10 meter. So, kita put dekat point A here. And intersect dekat atas ni. Okay, and then do the same thing from uh point C okay intersect here so basically the two lines will meet there so daripada sini pula uh, untuk buat kita punya circle ni okay so um, put your jangka lukis here and then you can do the circle so you, basically you will connect point C and point A with this um, uh, failure plane uh, sorry failure circle Okay, so awak akan buat macam ni lah. Saya dah buat siap, -siap. So, uh, your drawing will look something like this. Okay. So. Okay, guys. So, uh, I highlighted this uh, soil mass above the um, failure circle here. Okay. Saya so, highlight kan soil mass. Okay, tanah yang di atas failure circle ni. Ingat tak ini tadi? Dia cross dekat tu tu. So, kita panggil dia uh, slope failure. Uh, dan dia punya apa tu circle ni kita namakan dia as toe circle. Toe circle sebab dia intersect dekat tu ni. Alright, so inilah soil mass yang tadi yang saya cakap tu yang uh, using method of slices. Kita akan divide into several slices. Okay, so for your information, the more uh, slices you do, the more accurate the results will be. Lagi banyak awak slice kan, okay, lagi banyak awak slice kan um, soil mass ni, uh, lagi accurate uh, factor of safety yang kita akan kira tu. Okay, and then uh, you have to, you also have to remember, uh, dia punya, orang kata apa Dia punya uh, lebar dia, lebar for each of the slice tu, tak perlu sama pun tak apa. Alright, so uh, let's do this. Okay, so ini yang saya buat. So I divided uh, soil mass in orange. Okay, this soil mass in orange into seven slices. Ada seven slices. Uh, one, two, I count it from uh, the right. You can count from here actually. Numbering tak, tak kisah. Okay, you boleh namakan from here. One, two, three until seven here. Tapi in this case, I'm gonna number this um, from right to left. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Add the seven slices all together. Okay, so what's the next thing? Apa apa yang seterusnya yang kita akan buat adalah kita akan uh, apa kita akan cari midpoint. Setiap slice tu. Okay, kalau contoh ini segitiga. Okay, midpoint dia. Midpoint dia, garis tengah dia adalah kalau kita daripada sini adalah 2 per 3, betul? 2 per 3 daripada uh, lebar dia. Kalau daripada sini ke sini, 1 per 3. Alright. Manakala untuk yang uh, yang trapezium ni, kita ambil dekat tengah lah. Okay. And again here, kita ambil uh, midpoint untuk segitiga. Okay, so so let's do this. Okay guys, so as I said just now, the next thing, lepas kita divide into uh, slices tadi tu, 
7 slices. So kita cari a uh, point tengah untuk setiap slice tu. Contohnya untuk slice first, untuk slice pertama ni. Okey, so ni point tengah dia. Okey. Um lukis a uh, sorry, uh, ah yeah, ya you have to uh, lukis point tengah dia uh, di sini. Okay, so saya kira macam ni, um, since this is triangle, so kalau awak kira daripada sini ke sini, ya uh, ini adalah satu per tiga daripada the whole distance, kan? Kalau daripada sini ke sini, uh, this is two third, dua per tiga daripada the whole lebar dia ni. Okay, so basically ini garis tengah dia. Okay, this one, untuk slice one, untuk slice two, kat tengah ni. Untuk slice 3, 3 ni semua adalah uh, dah trapezium dekat tengah. Slice 4 contohnya. Okay, slice 4. Kan ni lebar dia 2, 2 uh, cm. Ataupun 2 meter. Equal to 2 meter. So basically garis tengah dia ni dekat ni lah. Middle. 1 cm from here. And 1 cm from here. So sama juga dengan uh, yang uh, slice 5, 6 and 7. Alright. So the next thing that we have to do is we have to connect. Kita kena um, macam ni sambungkan uh, daripada point zero ni, uh, sorry daripada point O ni yang deflection point kepada di mana garis tengah dengan circle ni bertemu. Okay, so I'll do, I'll show one example here. Okay, I repeat. Sekarang lepas kita dah uh, tentukan garis tengah untuk semua slice, tujuh slice ni, kita akan sambungkan from point zero ni kepada this point. Okay, intersection between. Okay, kalau awak nampak ni adalah. Okay, I'll draw a bit here. Ini adalah kita punya. Apa tu? Uh, failure circle tadi kan? Okay, failure circle ni saya draw bagi nampak jelas sikit. Okay, kita punya failure circle. Okay. Alright, so, alright. This is our failure circle. Saya dah draw tadi. Okay, sekarang kita akan, uh, kita tengok failure circle kita tadi. Dia bertindih ataupun intersect. Okay, intersect um, dengan garis tengah tadi dekat sini kan. So, this is, uh, this is the point. Okay, so kita akan sambungkan yang uh, point zero ni. Kepada garis ni. Garis tengah ni. Untuk kita membentuk uh, angle dekat sini. Okay. So, I'll show you one example. Okay. So, daripada uh, uh, zero ni. Sorry. Daripada point uh, O ni. Kita akan sambungkan. Untuk mengelakkan banyak sangat line. So, I'm not going to draw a straight line here. Saya akan terus. Saya akan buat line dekat sini je. Dekat bawah ni je. Okay. You can draw a straight line. Tapi nanti bila dah banyak, ada tujuh kali, you, you have to draw the lines. Then nanti you akan, uh, you punya drawing ini nampak serabut. So in order to avoid that, the congestion of your drawing, saya cuma akan draw dekat sini je. Okay? So from point O to dekat sini. So saya akan draw macam ni. Alright? So kita nak dapatkan ni. Sudut ni. Okay, kita nak dapatkan sudut ni. Dan uh, buatlah seterusnya. Uh, untuk uh, apa tu? Slice-slice uh, yang, yang lain. Okay, the next one is here kan. Daripada point O ni. Kepada uh, apa tu? Point ni. Intersection ni. Garis tengah dengan kita punya failure circle ni. So, buat sampai habis. Okay, macam tu. And then you have to do kalau awak ada 7 slice, so akan ada 7 uh, angle dekat bawah ni. Okay. Buat sampai habis. Alright. Okay guys. Um, as I said just now, <coughs> kita akan connectkan uh, point O to this point di mana uh, apa circle ni, failure circle dengan midpoint yang kita buat tadi tu midpoint of each slice tu bertemu ok, so kita akan connectkan O ke sini dan uh, ke sini so if you have 7 slices then you will have uh, to do it 7 times 
Okay, then this is how it's, uh, this is how it looks like. Okay, and then after that, uh, you have to uh, measure the um, angle made. Okay, uh, macam saya cakap tadi saya tak buat lah line di dalam ni sebab nanti serabut. Okay, to avoid serabut tu saya saya macam okay uh, saya letak pembaris macam tu. I know the line is here, but I I didn't do it. Okay, cuma saya buat line kat sini je. Sebab ni yang kita perlu untuk dapatkan angle ni. Okay, kalau kita turn around macam ni. Okay, saya dah measure dah. Contohnya untuk slice 1, angle dia 47. Lepas tu slice 2, 34. Uh, 27, 19, 8. Lepas tu kalau perasan ni negatif. Negatif sebab angle tu macam dia the other way around. Sebab dia dah macam ke belakang daripada point O ni. So, dia akan jadi negatif. Yang kat depan ni dia positif. Kalau you measure kan kat sini. Uh, dia positif, positif apa 8 degree contohnya tapi start slice 6 ni dia jadi negatif sebab you have to measure this way you have to turn around like that betul untuk measure uh, angle ni so you have to put this negative 5 degree and then this is negative 14 ok ini yang saya dapat lah kalau awak nak buat jadi 6 slice pun boleh kalau nak buat jadi 10 slice pun boleh uh, it depends on you tapi not too many slices lah nanti banyak banyak uh, lagi, orang kata apa, lagi serabut you punya drawing dalam ni alright, so after this uh, it's the time to put this information da dalam bentuk table ok so ok guys um, as I mentioned just now, so we will uh, now uh, transfer all information that we have here kita akan transfer kan uh, value value yang kita ada di kertas graf ni ke dalam bentuk table so we have um, ok this is our table ok uh, dan uh, ada 8 kolom 8 columns. Uh, ini based on uh, book yang saya refer uh, principle of uh, geotechnical engineering by Braja M. Das if I'm not mistaken so dalam buku tu ada 8 columns. ok kolom pertama untuk slice number of slice berapa and then WN is weight of um, each slice ni slice 1 berapa, slice 2 dan slice seterusnya lepas tu um, alpha n ni, dia degree ni ini yang sudut yang kita kira tadi tu kita measure and then uh, sine alpha basically straightforward kita signkan uh, sudut ni and then uh, kolom kelima kita coskan sudut ni and then delta ln is uh, this is the uh, rumus dia, BN. BN ni, B is the width. Okay, I'll show you later. The width ataupun lebar each slice tu. And cos alpha N dah ada kat sini. And then, um, column ketujuh uh, pun straightforward. Basically, WN sine uh, alpha N. WN ni kita ada di column 2. Okay, so sine alpha N di column uh, 4. So, kita darabkan 2 ni. Untuk dapatkan value di kolom 7. And for kolom 8. Uh, so WN again. Tapi this time kita darab dengan cos alpha N. Untuk dapat value di sini. Alright so saya dah buat. A uh, few examples for you guys. Okay let's go to the first slice. Okay slice pertama. Which is uh, this one. Okay slice pertama ni basically dia yang tiga segi ni. Uh, here. Sini. Situ, okay. So, kita assume uh, slice 1 ni as a triangle. Okay. And then 2.6 ni adalah kalau awak kira dia punya uh, apa tu? Dia punya lebar dia. Lebar dia adalah 2.6 cm or bersamaan dengan 2.6 meter. And then tinggi dia uh, 3.4 cm or 3.4 meter. Okay. So, kita perlukan this dimensions untuk kita ukur. Uh, ataupun untuk kita kira WN weight of slice so basically weight ni uh, area area slice 1 ni so dia adalah segi 3 uh, half darab dengan base 2.6 darab dengan uh, height 3.4 ini basic math and then uh, untuk dapatkan kilonewton per meter kita darab dengan dia punya unit weight ok so given unit weight tadi adalah 18 so when you do it uh, when you do the calculation you will get uh, the weight of slice 1 is 79.56 kilonewton per meter. Alright, and then alpha 
alpha untuk slice 1 is 47. Ini depends. Okay, mungkin awak buat slice awak macam lain. Maksudnya awak slice uh, dengan uh, dimensions yang berbeza daripada yang saya tunjuk contoh ni. Okay, so you you get something different here. Okay, untuk saya saya dapat 47 tadi. Okay, ni slice 1. Okay, so ini sudut dia yang kita nak tu. 47. Okay, so we'll, we put it here. And then, uh, column 4, 5 ni straightforward. Okay, so kita signkan uh, 47. And then, kita, dap kita dapat this one. And then kita coskan 47. Kita dapat this one. And then, untuk LN ni, delta LN ni adalah uh, BN over cos alpha N. So, kita nak tahu B tu tadi tu lah. B is the width. Okay, B is the width of um, ataupun lebar kita punya slice tu which is 2.6. Okay, so saya letak sini 2.6 over cos alpha n. Cos alpha n ni kita ambil je daripada sini. So, this is the reading. Okay, and then uh, ini straightforward. Wn sin alpha n dapat ni. Wn cos alpha n dapat ni. Alright, so you do the rest lah. Okay, so untuk second slice. Okay, untuk second slice. Second slice saya, dia macam trapezium sikit. So, kita guna rumus trapezium untuk dapatkan area. And then, kita darab dengan dia punya unit weight. Okay. So, this is uh, my slice too. Basically, the width is 1.4. Uh, height dekat belah sini tadi is 3.4. Height belah sini is 4.4. So, ini trapezium kan? Bentuk dia trapezium ni. Dekat sini. Alright. So, saya guna rumus trapezium. Setengah. Darab dia punya base 1.4. This is basic math. Okay, I don't think I I don't think I have to uh, explain everything. Okay, and this is trapezium. Kita tambahkan uh, height both sides 3.4 plus 4.4, and then kita darab dengan 18 sebab kita nak dar, uh, dapat dia punya weight in kilonewton per meter. Alright, so this is uh, the value 98.28. And 34 ni dapat daripada mana? Sama juga tadi. Kita akan repeat the same process over and over again. So, 34 is here. Yang kita measure dekat ketagraf. So, 34. Okay. This this is straightforward. Straightforward. Yang ni pun sama. Straightforward. Untuk dapatkan delta LN ni. Okay. 1.4 ni saya dapat daripada mana? 1.4 is the uh, width lah. Okay. I'm sorry to shift back and forth. Okay. This is the width. 1.4. Okay. 1.4 over cos alpha n dapat ni. And then this is also straightforward. Okay. Dan buatlah sehingga a slice ke tujuh kalau if you have seven slices. If you have more, then you have to do more. Okay. If you have uh, six slices, then sampai slice ke enam lah. Saya ada sampai slice ke tujuh. Again, uh, slice ke tujuh saya jadi balik macam triangle. So, saya guna rumus triangle here. Okay. And then negative 14. Negatif 14 ni yang tadi tu. Uh, sebab saya cakap dia. Apa dia. Uh, angle dia. Dah macam mirror. So dia jadi negatif 14. So include sekali negatif kat sini. Okay. And then the rest is the same. Okay. Bila awak siap buat benda ni. Okay. Uh, awak. Uh, buat. Uh, sum, apa Total sum. Okay. Jumlahkan. Uh, semua di kolom LN ni. Okay. Dan semua di kolom uh, 7. And then kolom 8. Because this 3. Uh, you need the value. Uh, to be in, to be included in the formula. Untuk dapatkan factor of safety. Okay. So saya bagi contoh lah dekat sini. Okay. Uh, contohnya awak summarize. Uh, sorry. Awak sum up. Uh, values untuk kolom 6 ni. Delta LN. Awak tahu tak delta LN tu apa? Delta LN basically bila awak dapat 14.14 ni. So 14.414. Kalau awak tengok unit dia adalah uh, meter eh dekat sini. Unit dia meter. So dekat mana sebenarnya delta LN ni? Delta LN ni maksudnya ni. Awak punya total length. Awak punya uh, failure circle ni. Ni delta LN. Ni awak measure untuk uh, satu kan. Lepas tu awak tambah delta LN untuk yang slice 2. Delta LN untuk slice 3 dekat sini. And so on. So, bila awak dapat jumlah 14.414 ni adalah uh, jumlah panjang keseluruhan. This failure circle. Okay. 
So contohnya contoh ya, saya bagi contoh awak dapat yang ni. And then awak totalkan uh, value di kolom 7, awak dapat this. And then kolom 8, awak dapat this. Okay, so these values, saya highlight sikit, I'm going to use pink highlighter. These values, okay, awak just masukkan dalam rumus ni. Rumus factor of safety, basically, uh, total kolom 6 ni. Okay, darab dengan uh, C, this is given, plus total column 8, darab dengan tangent friction angle, divide by total column 7. So, you put all of this, okay, daripada sini ni, masukkan all these values here dalam formula ni. So, this is um, how it looks like, how it's going to look like, okay, and then this is what I got, 2.76. Okay, so this is the factor of safety of slope yang kita lukis tadi tu ok, the factor of safety is 2.76 ok, ni lah factor of safety of the slope 2.7 2.76 alright so, um, kalau uh, for sure mungkin some of you or all of you might be wondering, habis tu kalau contohnya saya ada 10 slides and then my friend uh, ha, apa buat uh, 6 slides, another friend buat 5 slides Uh, so, akan jadi berbeza tak? Yes, berbeza tapi tak terlalu besar. Contohnya kalau saya dapat 2.76, if you do the same, at the point, um, maksud saya, if if you do this one more time, and then you might get um, the the factor of safety which is a bit, which is close to the the factor of the factor of safety of your other friends. Okay, so contohnya kalau range dia dalam 2.76, um, saya rasa it's almost impossible if awak dapat factor of safety sampai 10 contohnya. Ataupun factor of safety sampai 15. Okay, that's too far. Okay, akan sedikit berbeza di antara kita. Maybe some of you akan dapat 2.76. And then some of your friends akan dapat 2.79. Okay, akan berkisar di satu value yang lebih kurang sama. Alright. So, uh, that's all I think um, from me for this lecture session. So uh, to conclude, basically this session, uh, we learn about um, method of uh, slices. Kita nak check stability slope kita ni. Okay, menggunakan method of slices. Uh, dan jawapan kita pada this session is 2.76. That is the factor of safety of our uh, slope. Alright, I hope um, this lecture session helps you to understand this topic better, inshallah. If you have any queries, if you have any questions as usual, please uh, let me know. Alright guys, thank you for your attention. Uh, Assalamualaikum and uh, have a nice day. Bye-bye.